Wizz Air has been a dominant airline in Europe in terms of post-pandemic recovery. In fact, you just said that it was the fastest growing airline during, during COVID in Europe. Um, you've been opening new bases, you've been opening new routes. Could you tell us a little bit more, how did you manage to make it happen? Yeah, I mean, I think it all starts from uh, our low cost. So, you know, thanks to our low cost position, we can offer the best fares to our customers, which especially gets them back traveling sooner. So throughout the pandemic, you know, we've continued to focus on that, making sure we keep our costs down, continuing to invest in growth, uh, and continuing to bring more service to our customers and give them more destinations. In addition to that, we focused throughout the pandemic on bringing you know, really safe, reliable travel to our customers. So very clean and hygienic on board, um, you know, COVID measures in place, and also new tools that we've given our customers more confidence. So for example, um, in our, our booking tools, very easy information that helps our customers know, you know what are the latest restrictions, where they need to travel, et cetera, which gets them back traveling faster. So I think throughout that, you know, then it was just a question of as, as uh, regulations opened, customers came back and wanted to keep flying. And, you know, when they want to fly, Wiz is a great choice. Combination of our service and our fares means they came back very quickly. Right. And talking about passenger capacity, did you come back to pre-COVID levels? Uh, yes, we're back now at and above where we were pre-COVID um, and continuing to go from there. Now, talking about fleet, uh, recently Wiz uh, announced that it wants to enlarge its fleet. Could we expect some changes in fleet? Uh, no, I mean, I think, look, we stay, uh, we've been an Airbus operator since the beginning. We intend to stay that way. I think there's a lot of benefits for us from staying with a single fleet type. Uh, and quite honestly, the A321neo is an aircraft that's impossible to beat, uh, both from a cost perspective, an environment perspective, uh, from a sustainability perspective. So I think around the, uh, in every a a category you can think of, uh, there'd be no reason to change. Right, uh, recently Chief Executive Joseph Faradi uh, defined Wizz Air as more than a European airline. With new base at uh, Abu Dhabi, how long before we see Wizz Air uh, expanding into Africa or Asia perhaps? Yeah, well, you know, we're, we're already kind of there. So we have uh, operations already going into Egypt and Morocco. Uh, we have a, a service going, uh, you know, east into Asia, uh, both from Abu Dhabi and from Budapest into, you know, as example, Kazakhstan and, and uh, other countries. So I think, look, we're already expanding into to those other geographies. And look, uh, we said all along, we, we remain focused on our, our core mission, which is bringing low cost, affordable travel to customers throughout the world and connecting them. You know, as we see these opportunities, we won't be afraid to go after them. And I think, you know, as you see with Wiz Abu Dhabi, uh, it's a great platform that can expand into other markets and, and we, we intend to do so. Any plans to open a new base in Africa? Uh, nothing, nothing at this point, but, uh, you know, we'll see what the future brings. Thank you very much. That was a pleasure. No problem. Thanks for having me.